have a poem here by a poet named Liesl Mueller. She was born in 1924 a native of Hamburg, Germany, and now a US citizen, she received the 1997 Pulitzer Prize for Poetry for her seventh book, Alive Together, New and Selected Poems. She was a social worker and a book reviewer in her early years, and she spent her later years as a visiting lecturer and poet in residence on many college campuses throughout the US, including the University of Chicago and the Warren Wilson College, and she lives in Chicago. And this comes from a book called Undoctoring, Stories, Poems, and Essays, edited by Richard Reynolds and John Stone. Monet refuses the operation. Doctor, you say there are no halos around the streetlights in Paris, and what I see is an aberration caused by old age and affliction. I tell you, it has taken me all my life to arrive at the vision of gas lamps as angels, to soften and blur and finally banish the edges you regret I don't see to learn that the line I call the horizon does not exist and sky and water so long apart are the same state of being. 54 years before I could see, Rouen Cathedral is built of parallel shafts of sun. And now you want to restore my youthful errors, fixed notions of top and bottom, the illusion of three-dimensional space, wisteria separate from the bridge it covers, what can I say to convince you the House of Parliament dissolve night after night to become the fluid dream of the Thames? I will not return to a universe of objects that don't know each other, as if islands were not the lost children of one great continent. The world is flux, and light becomes what it touches, becomes water, lilies on water above and below water, becomes lilac and mauve and yellow and white and cerulean lamps, small fists passing sunlight so quickly to one another that it would take long streaming hair inside my brush to catch it, to paint the speed of light. Our weighted shape, these verticals burn to mix with air and change our bones, skin, clothes to gases. Doctor, if only you could see how heaven pulls earth into its arms and how infinitely the heart expands to claim this world blue vapor without end.